All right, so we're just going to introduce the concept of a limit in this video. Um, limits are they're like fundamental to calculus, um, and so I'm going to spend this video just explaining a little bit about them, how they work, and go through a few examples and some different ways to think about them so it all makes sense. So the way that you write a limit is write it like this. Let's say the limit of um, f of x as x goes to a, so x goes to a, oops, is equal to L, the limit. Now, what this is saying is this is uh, describing the behavior of f of x when x is near a. So we're going to put in uh, numbers here that get closer and closer to a from both sides. For example, if a was 1, we would be using 1.0001 you know, and then 0 0.999. And when we put in those values, um, we're going to see what comes out. And that is either going to be equal to l or very close to l. Now, this isn't necessarily telling us what is happening at f at a. It's just happening at uh, what's really close to two what f at a is. Um, so I think a good way to look at this is if we visually um, picture this. Let's draw a graph here. And let's say we want to find the limit. Let's do an example. The, let's say the limit of f at, let's say, 2x as x goes to 1. Okay, this is our limit. We want to find out what the limit is. So let's just draw this. Um, if this is, say, 1 and 2, and this is 1 and 2. So we're going to get a graph that looks something like this. Right, it's going to go like that. And graph and visually, like when you have a graph, it's a lot easier to kind of picture this because as f of x approaches 1, that's this one, we can just draw a dotted line, right? Um, what's f of x getting closer to? So as our f of x moves this way along the x-axis, you're seeing that as it goes this way, it's going to be here, and then it's going to be here, and it's going to be here, and it's going to be here, and it's getting closer to 2, right? And as f of x moves this way, if we put numbers getting smaller and smaller towards this, you're going to start here, f of x will be here, here, here. And it's going to get closer and closer to 2, which makes sense visually. And now if we do it, um, say, if, pretend we didn't have the graph here, what we would have to do is we would put in numbers that are really close to 1 on the left side and really close to 1 on the right side. So say we put um, 2 times... 0 0.999, that's going to be equal to 1.998. That's pretty close to 2. And if we have 2 times uh, 1.001, uh, that's equal to 2.002. Right, these are hovering right around 2. And if we put more decimal places here, you'd see that we would just get numbers closer and closer to 2. So what this is saying is that the limit of f uh, of 2x as x goes to 1, the limit is equal to 2. So we can write here that the limit is equal to 2. Now just something to think about. If this, uh, if this function is discontinuous um, at this point at, at x is equal to 1, like so, um, and we, uh, we drew this in, you know, say this is a different function that's discontinuous right here. What we're saying, now what we learn is that um, so limit as f of x goes to 1 or f of x goes to a um, it, in the first case, in this case here um, f at a is equal to l, right? f at 2 times 1 is equal to 2. Um, but say in this case if it was discontinuous here then f of a would not equal l. Um, in fact, in this case, actually f of a doesn't exist. It's not defined at this point. So it's important to remember that, that you can't just substitute x is equal to a uh, into the function f of x um, when you're trying to evaluate the limit, because f at a might not exist. So another way you can think of this, too, is uh, we wrote here the limit of f of x as x goes to a. So x goes to a. Uh, we wrote is equal to L. Um, another way we can write this uh, basically means that 
um, f at a plus or minus plus or minus epsilon, the symbol here, is roughly equal to L. And so what epsilon is, this is just a very small, this represents just a small positive number. So here uh, we subtracted a small positive number and we added a small positive number, right, 0 0.001. And then that roughly, this is really close to L, right? And if we subtracted an even smaller number or added a smaller number, it would get even closer to L. So this is a really good way to, um, to uh, think about it. And just make sure you know that epsilon, the symbol here, is a small positive number. Uh, it's not equal to zero. Now we can do some other examples. Let's say, um, let's switch colors here. Uh, let's do maybe the limit of, uh, sorry, as x goes to, uh, let's say x goes to three of five. Right? What is this limit? Now this five, this just means we're doing a constant function. Um, and if you remember from the constant function video, it's just a horizontal line at x equal or y equals five. But uh, let's find out this uh, using limits to find out what the limit is at three. So if we put in um, if we put in two point nine nine nine. Um, all we're going to get out is 5, right? Because it's a constant function. That's all this function is capable of doing. And if we put in 3.001, again, we're going to get out 5. And if you prefer this way of thinking about it, um, we basically just have f at 3 plus or minus epsilon is going to be equal to 5. So then we can go up here and write that this here... Um, the limit of 5 as x goes to 3 is equal to 5. And let's just do one more example uh, for this video, and then we'll do some more in the, the videos after this. So um, let's take the limit, um, let's say, of 1 over x squared as x goes to 2. Okay, this is going to be equal to L, and we want to find out what the limit is. So let's put in numbers that are really close to 2 uh, for x um, from the left side and the right side. So we'll have 1 over um, 1 point, let's say 999. Nine, nine. That's going to be squared, and that's equal to um, 0. Point Two five zero two five, and it just keeps going on. Now, if we put in uh, one over um, two point zero zero one, we're coming from the other side now, adding a small positive number squared. This is going to be equal to um, zero point two four nine seven. Etc. And so here you can see, um, and again, if you put in 1.9999, this is just going to get closer to 0 0.25. And if we put in 2.0000, you know, more zeros and then a 1, this number is just going to get closer to 0 0.25 again, just from the other side. So we find that our limit, um, limit as x goes to 2 for 1 over x squared is equal to. 0.25. So join me in the next couple of videos and we'll do some more examples, we'll do harder limits, and we'll do some one-sided limits and stuff like that.